Such a Mel and such a... I know they're actors of brothers in real life, I think. No, they're not brothers in real life. They they work... No. One... Oh, they're voiced by... Oh, what was their relationship? They had a relationship outside of The Simpsons. I think it Sorry was... No, uh, it was to do with Frasier. Because yeah, Sideshow... Sideshow... It wasn't that... Um, yeah, Sideshow Bob and Sideshow Mario was the Frasier character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Sorry, that did was I just I... annihilate him with God? <laughs> oh, is this Space Odyssey? Because of the apes and the... This is weird. Oh, I'm, I'm, abs I'm mm -hmm. killing people. Like, actually killing people. <laughs> We, 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 we were, we were <laughs> <laughs> dinosaurs playing poker. That's so good. This is pretty good. Yeah, I'm loving Lisa's Tash. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. And then you know, there's just the pyramid. Yeah, <laughs> Rugrats rug rug pyramid. Yeah. No disrespect to the pyramid, but it is less interesting than everything else going on. I do, I do like the. Oh my god. Yes, I'm, I'm appreciating this. I'm, I'm oh, the not appreciating cradle. that it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> I think it works once and then. That's that's not Newton's theory. <laughs> yeah. The, the Simpsons writers, some of them are just so overqualified. They have like degrees in maths. In, I've got a book upstairs um, called um, The Simpsons and their, and their Mathematical Secrets. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, since this writers are so overqualified, I, I should be one. I've got a book upstairs. <laughs> That's like Plankton. I went to college! <laughs> yeah. No, they're really clever. They have like degrees in maths and stuff like that, and they put all sort of maths theory theories in their show and in some of the episodes. Yeah, they, they did that with, um... Uh, I like this, sorry, I like this bird that's just Bart. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, they, that's the same with Futurama. They uh, they have like they, there's like a there's a hidden language in Futurama, um, like genuinely, um, and like they they've got loads of like in jokes created through this other language, um, which is really cool. Like there's there's so many uh, just just yeah just hidden secrets throughout all of their shows, um, and I cannot begin to fathom how, like, difficult that would be to, like, implement in a, in a wide-scale production. Like, so that everyone is on board and everyone absolutely does, like, implement it as much as possible without people knowing or, like, without people catching on so that it's in your face. Yeah. I mean, how... How could you... How, I wonder, how much can you get away with just put sneaking things on a show until before it gets too obvious. I wonder. Because Robin, Robin Williams used to swear easily. on Mork and Mindy. He used to swear in foreign languages. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I, I think quite easily because, like... <laughs> for lack of a better way to phrase this, people are stupid. <laughs> like, yeah. like, they don't notice things. They just yeah. don't. Um... Like, unless you're looking for it, like, one person will notice a thing just out of nowhere and be like, Oh, did you know this here is here? And then people will start looking for it because they now know through word of mouth. But if you don't know it's there at all, you're not looking for it, and you're not going to observe it. Yeah. Because why would you? Um, it's a bit like you say, people say, Oh, it's obvious. It's like, well, it's, it's only obvious because you know. Yeah. It's like it's like confirmation bias. Oh, I need home at right. Keeps it at a toasty 864 degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> Fahrenheit Daddy, is the most unbased man. measurement of temperature ever. If you weigh <laughs> pounds on Earth, I mean, there are only like three known measurements, like mainstream measurements of, of temperature, but I don't know. See, what would you say? Fahrenheit, Celsius. Uh, Celsius, 100%. Yeah, I'm going to say Celsius, 100 degrees, because that's the boiling point of water. Mm. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. Oh, 
Right, I've I've made the polls reduce. Okay, I was gonna say like I've I've screwed our yeah. the whole thing, but that's not true. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for a comment to be like, oh, actually, I I measure I'm measuring Kelvin. So uh, shall <laughs> I drive? You know? I mean, Kelvin is good just because honestly, it's a solid name. Um, I, I think Kelvin is a very nice name. Yeah, um, but that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> We were in a sewer, right? Not, not even a sewer, we were underground earlier and then we're just in a museum for... Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, we escaped the sewer and, yeah. and we made it here. <laughs> Again, like like you say, like the first level was quite bold being a chocolate level, the second level was quite bold being this. <laughs> it's, it's very, uh, it's very this, creative. This game's so perfect for um, getting your attention. Mm. In college, I ate another guy's Good. barf to get into a fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> that is a terrible, terrible thing to do. Yeah. Oh man, uh, I, I, I have a story that I've been trying a story to about hazing, to or huh? A story about hazing. No, oh. a story about like just get trying to do What's something to get out of a terrible situation. Oh, okay. Um, so not uh, to get I into something to get out of something. No. So okay, yeah, yeah, and okay. I don't know when to tell this story because I'll be frank, it is disgusting. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, it's not good. Not proud of it at all. Not all my fault, <laughs> but, but it's not good. Uh, I mean, I've kind of gone far enough. I should probably tell it. <laughs> um, like, wow, I'm I've, gonna... I've killed this guy. Like, <laughs> yes. he is straight up dead. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, no, but like, I broke every bone in his body. See, that's one next to his leg. <laughs> would have inspired a generation of students to fall in love with science. Oh well, looks like it's jail for me. Oh, sorry, would have been here sooner? I can't get the hang of this dang map quest. Turns out there's a north and a south Elton Avenue. <laughs> really messed me up. You learned a valuable lesson, Skinner. There's a street. I live on a street that's named after another street. And then we had a thing where, like, Te half ten in the evening, like delivery people would come to the door and would be like, Jesus Christ, like, no, it's the other one! Like, it was just, <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Right, depending on, I presume it's just going to put us in the overworld. Um, and then I guess, oh, in the overworld, I'll tell my genuinely horrible story. <laughs> oh, okay. Genuinely uh, frightful, horrible, disgusting story. Yes. I guess disclaimer, it involves shit. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well uh fire oh. away. Ah, now I have it. Grand Fest Sweet. Oh. Uh, except I don't. What? Am I missing something? Oh. Oh. I'm just supposed to right and then I switch to I switch to bar right are, are you okay man like <laughs> yeah no it's not going well for you um okay but oh okay I see I see the puzzle the puzzle has been sold um all right so oh boy uh so I Went to study a little bit of voice acting in London. Um, okay. That a couple wasn't years this ago. Oh, a couple of years ago, yeah. Yeah. I thought this was like was a childhood a... story. Okay. No, this is uh this is twenty eighteen. Okay. Um I had just left um my job at the chocolate shop because one of my colleagues did something super illegal 
I did not like what they did, and I refused to work with them. And then they treated me like the criminal, uh, because I wanted to leave. Oh no. Um, so I was like, well, I'm leaving. Um, and uh, I, I, I went like, oh no, let's, let's go to London, let's do a little bit of voice acting, studying, and that'd be fun. Um, so I was already sort of depressed at the time, because <laughs> it was a rough time as it was. Um, and, you know, th this didn't make it easier. So I didn't stay at a hotel. I rented a flat because I was there for like a week or two. So I was I like, see. well, you know, if I if I rent a place, it'll it's actually cheaper than you know, a hotel and I don't have to uh, go to restaurants for food because I can make my own because there's a uh, cooker and stuff. So I get there and they call me up and like, right, okay, so you know how you're ready to like be here? Well, we're not ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Uh, it's like, so, do you want to wait around for, oh, I don't know, like, an hour? Like, sure, I guess. Uh, so I was waiting outside the, uh, the, the place for an hour for the key, um, and, and they, they gave it to me. They didn't give me the Wi-Fi for, like, oh, a good, like, ten hours. I was like, okay, well, this is not as ideal, but it's whatever, I'll just run around London. Um, at the time, <laughs> mm. uh, when, I, when I got there, it like it. Th there, there had been some people who had just finished uni and were like, "Hey, we're gonna rent a place and we're gonna have a mega party." So, and we're gonna the shit place all over wasn't. The walls. <laughs> well, it wasn't the best condition as it was. Mm. I plugged my laptop into a into a wall socket and it electrocuted me. So I was like, "Well, I'm not using that one." <laughs> <laughs> That's going to explode in my face. Let's not do that. Also, I know the level was there. I'm just telling a story. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I'll, I'll use a different plug socket. Um, so I was like, okay, cool, uh, whatever. At the time, I was a little, a, a smidge constipated, <laughs> so I hadn't gone for a while. Okay. I was like, yes, the time is now. It's finally happening. Thank Christ for that. Um, Got the keys. What I did not know. Plugged in and think, right, time to shit. Or not the, that's not the exact order of events, but that's how I'm... Well, uh, what I wasn't prepared yeah. for was that these people in their party completely blocked the toilet. Like, entirely. As in, it didn't work. Oh. Um, so, I... Could not flush it at all. Uh, so you've, and you've shat, and then you're standing yeah. there with a toilet full of shat. Yes. And freaking out, thinking, "What do I? What, what the hell what am I do I do? do? With this? Where am I going to? What put this? do I do? Yeah. I am not proud of this. <laughs> In hindsight, it's hilarious. I was like, "Huh? Shower down there." is another route to go. But the problem is, it, as I said, I, I hadn't gone for a while. It, there was a lot. Uh, oh, okay. It, too much, you could argue. So, I, again, freaking out at this point, was like, right, I'll put it in a bag <laughs> and find a bin. And I spent a good 20 minutes trying to find a bin that wasn't just full in the heart of London. And I eventually went down an alley and found, like, a bin from a restaurant. I was like, this will do. And, like, I just, I just remember feeling at my absolute lowest and absolutely gutted because... I was really looking forward to watching Formula One, and it was about to start just just before I went, and I missed it all because of this debacle and freaking out and having to run away. And honestly, like it it could have gone a lot worse, but like oh, it was awful. It was a horrible, horrible experience. But it is kind of funny that I was just lobbing around. Uh, <laughs> Shit. So, what's your worst hotel yeah. story? Honestly. Uh, th that was a fun little story. It gets technically worse. There was a towel that I didn't, like, I tried to, like, clean things up with, and I was just stupid, like, what am I doing? 
fine! Is this a my towel? What am I using? So I just left it in the wardrobe, and it's amazing I got the deposit back. Because yeah. <laughs> um, it was not okay. It was not okay. Yeah. I mean, you, you put it in the restaurant, and the owner comes out. He's like, what are you doing? And you're just like, look, man, the toilet's blocked. I've missed Formula One. Can I just throw my shit away? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> But I was just like, I was just trying to find any bin that wasn't full to the brim, and there was just nothing. I went down like 20 streets, just like, oh my god, please. Yeah. One. Just one will do. Yeah. Uh, uh, and one did I used not to get do. The, I used to get the train uh, to work every day, really early. I'd I had to wake up, well, I worked really far away. I had to wake up at five every every Monday to Friday. Mm. And then get, get a train at like 20 to uh, 7 and... Oh my god, so this is about set half seven in the morning, I'm still on this long train journey, and I, I want to go wee, so I go into one of the toilets, and it's just, so, it's not as if it's not flush and then there's poo there, it's, uh. there's a poo, and then and it's surrounded by pooey water, so it's uh. blocked in both the sense of liquid and solid, so there's a floating, there's a floating poo. And it's mm. sort of undulating with the motion of the train. And it's sort of, <laughs> and I'm looking at it and, it's, and I'm thinking, I don't feel very well, but I'm busting for a wee. So because there's still room, there's still like volume left in the toilet, I just did the wee anyway. So I'm weeing right. in like, I, you can't make it worse. I mean, the, the way it already yeah. was, like you could do anything to it yeah, at this yeah. point. And I'm weeing, and it's filling up gradually because your car can't flush it. It's blocked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just filling up, and it's just getting more precarious. <laughs> and, and I'm like, this is disgusting. This is horrible. Yeah. Like, and I'm just remember thinking to myself, uh, to a toilet couldn't get worse than this. T train toilets are pretty much an absolute nadir when it comes to toilet hygiene. Yeah. Like. Um, as far as, um, okay, poop related stories, that's the only one I can think of in, in recent times. Uh, you said you couldn't find, uh, you couldn't find a bin with room in London. Yeah. I, I am gradually considering moving away from the city. As time goes on, I'm more and more, every day, I'm more and more convinced that I'm going to move away from the city. Uh -huh. Like, um, the dream, the dream is to like get some land. And I like, I like growing my own, I like growing my own stuff. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't grow enough to like live on, but just a few yeah. things every now and again, just to, just to keep me sane. I like doing that. The strawberries have come out. It's that time of year. The strawberries are out. Yeah. And I checked this morning and I've got some nice strawberries that I'm going to harvest in a couple of days' time. My mum always said I'd make a good farmer, but I don't know what she's basing that off of. She's just sort of like <laughs> saying it randomly. Just a, just a passion and enjoying it? Well, there's like... You can like do... You can... You can... People forget this now. You, you can just like lots of things. Yeah. People forget this now. Everyone's like, I've got to be hyper specialized in one thing. Like, no, you can like loads of, that, that's what like being a human being is and being in control. Like you don't have to be like, the jack of all trades will always, he'll always prosper. He's always got his shit together, you know? So did I. So did you. And you got your deposit back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was just a good two hundred yeah. pounds. So yeah. I was delighted. <laughs> in the in the comments, uh, everyone, give your best disgusting story. I want everyone watching to leave one. Uh, and yeah, okay, you don't have to because I'm fully aware that you will not be anonymous because you are posting it on an account of where you will be seen. Uh, so you absolutely do not. But uh, if you do, glorious. Looking forward to reading them. It's uh, I've been um, I've been watching uh, Chris and Rosie Ramsey. Um, they're they're comedians. Well, Chris Ramsey's a comedian. Um, 
Oh, yeah. So sorry, Luke, but like, uh, but yeah, they, they um, they they do a podcast. And I've been listening to that. Uh, I've discovered that and it's so unbelievably funny. But they have like a section where it's like questions from the public, uh, and it's usually not questions. It's here's a story about this disgusting thing that happened. Also, what's your favorite type of fruit? <laughs> you know, like, uh, but no, like it's, it's just, it's so funny. It's so funny to hear them read this story or a bunch of stories, every single podcast. And it's usually just the most cursed thing. And I have been very tempted to put my shit story in <laughs> because it's up there. Um, I, if I word it right when writing the email, it will be a banger. Um, but yeah, it's just I uh, I've, I've been thoroughly enjoying that. Um, and hey, maybe uh, if you do put them in, maybe we'll read some later. <laughs> uh, by all means, you don't have to. Uh, but if you do want us to read disgusting stories, why not? Well, why not? Sounds sounds like a sounds like a hoot. Um, is that a big bowling ball over there? Yeah. No, it's a planet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's a planet, yeah. No, <laughs> suicide. Junkie wow. Town Legal Clinic. That's it's pretty they've good. Got all the, they've got all the correct, like, character background. The thing is with The Simpsons, there's just so many characters. Oh, yeah. That you've just got so many, like, oh, here's, here's Principal Skinner's mum, here's the comic book guy, here's the crazy cat lady, here's the, the like... And you don't even have to be a diehard. Like everyone, everyone knows all these people because the show yeah. is just so Finally. integrated in 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 culture now. Yeah, like, and there's okay. there's also just like not many voice actors either. There's there's so few. It's really oh that's much. Um, mm. It's really surprising how few there actually are. Yeah, because it's, it's like The Simpson, Dan Castellano voices some other people. Yeah, and then there's there's like, like everyone, like acts as like ten different characters. So it's like there's only like a cast of six or something. It's yeah. like okay, how? But I mean, it's it's super impressive. Yeah, like, uh, like every, everyone it works. Family, it, family just... guy. Half more than half the cast is Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, he voices pretty much a majority of the. Of like... Yeah. That's, that's kind of like uh, Gravity Falls, actually, the Disney show. Alex Hirsch is the creator, and he voices quite a lot of the characters. Oh, yeah, that's true. I never I, realised that. I think he that. voices, like, five or six. Yeah, I more. never realised that at the, um, at the time of watching it. 